Okay, I think we're alive again. So, welcome back everyone. This is the second part of my playthrough of Torrin's Passage. This is, uh, we, so the first session we did chapters one and two, which are The Lands Above and Escarpa. We did the prologue as well, which is just a video clip. Um, so today the plan is to try and finish the rest of the game. Um, so we've got levels three, four, and five. Um, I can't remember how long they'll take us into, uh, all together, but given that I haven't played this game in, you know, 15, 20 years. But uh, yeah, so I think we'll just get right back into it and see how far we get. So uh, hopefully the chat is working okay. Just double check that. Yeah, it seems to be. So uh, we left ourselves off in um, just entering Pergola in chapter three. So we're going to start there. Click resume. Get a tip of the day. Press the boogle button. Yeah, we know that. And here we are. So this is just after we've entered world three. Now, what do, uh, what do we have? We've still got the powder, still got the locket. Um, oh yeah, that's the uh, the king and queen gave us that locket to help find their daughter who is lost in here apparently. Um, we've got uh, the box, the yo-yo, the lantern. I don't think I don't, I don't think we need any more of these again, but we've got them anyway, just in case. Um, we've got the hint switch there. We've got the uh, scanner. But apart from that, let's just get going. Whoa! Good start. What a fall. Oh, oh doesn't he get captured? Hey, stop that. Right. I think I've got a sort of Yeah, stop yeah. Stop that. Let me go. Get away. Shoot. I seem to remember that if you don't click, then they just eat it or something like that. Wait. Don't be afraid. Hold still. Okay, that audio is alright. Turn down a little bit. It seems to be clipping a bit. On behalf of all Pergolins everywhere, I would like to thank you, Giant, for saving the life of Fairmont. Oh, that's alright. Oh, hey, quick! No, 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 I mean, uh, okay. You seem to be a kinder, gentler giant, not like some giants we know. I wonder if you could help us with a problem. But of course. You need some logs moved, uh, rocks realigned, villages trampled. <laughs> Much worse. We recently captured another giant, but very different from you. This one will not cooperate at all. What can I do? Perhaps if you talked with it. Well, okay. But are you sure I'll be safe? Follow me. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna fix this window here. Hopefully that's alright. There we go. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, gotta follow this guy, gotta try and find if they've captured another giant. Okay. I think this is the king and queen's daughter. I think this is the princess. Oh no! No! Yeah, Lena. Okay. I it's okay. I won't hurt you. No! No! It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Ha! Huh. You're with them, aren't you? Get away from me! But... but I want to free you. Get away! You'll only hurt me more! Oh, right. We need to convince her, right, so that we show her the locket, don't we? Yeah. Hey, you're Lena, aren't you? I just came from your homeland. Uh, I met your mother and father. You did? Escarpa? My parents? Oh, how I wish I had listened to them. I wouldn't be in this mess. They told me to give you this. Oh, look. That is my dear sweet father. And I. <laughs> oh, how 
I miss them? Maybe you are from Scarpa, but you're so tall. Who are you anyway? My name is Torin, but I'm not from Escarpa. I'm from the lands above. Torin of the lands above. Do you promise not to harm me? I swear. At present, I can think of nothing worse. All right then, quick, cut me loose. Well, um, hmm. Hurry before they stop you. Yeah, With what? Uh, I can't. I'll have to try to break each little thread, I suppose. Why? Use your knife. Well, that's just it. I didn't bring a knife. Some hero I am. Well, hold still. Here goes. Then, I'll tell you a little secret. All this time, I've had a knife hidden in my boot, but they tied me up before I regained consciousness. Okay, so I started rummaging on a strange woman's body. <laughs> we could just kill her right here, right now, and no one would ever know. <laughs> now, hold still. I wouldn't want to cut you. Oh, and cue the this is obviously meant to be romantic music. Oh, thank you, Torin. That was horrible. Why does she have an eye on her head? Is that like a giant webcam? Is there someone watching everything that they're doing? Here. Here's your locket. <laughs> oh no, the canned laughter's back. Oh, Boogle. Here, let me help you up. Oh wait! Look at your arms, you're bleeding. What? Oh, uh, I'm okay. I dropped a long ways through the trees before I landed on this soft loam. I must have, uh, you know, caught some branches on the way down. It's nothing. Lip sync is still really impressive, I think, for 1998, whatever this was, 95, 96. Nonsense. Come over here. I'm sure I heard a stream this way. <laughs> Everyone in Escarpa said we should meet. Well, that was an abrupt cut. I never dared dream we really would. Everyone else was so short and hairy. I was always the ugly duckling. Too tall, too thin, hair only on top. Hair <laughs> only on top. With you, I feel, I don't know, somehow normal. Okay, so... I think you're anything but normal. <laughs> what? Torin? <laughs> huh? No, no, what I meant Put was... Put your it, You're far above normal. You're... you're beautiful. Wonderful. Perfect. Oh, Torin. But my parents must be worried sick. This is well, like... Yeah, they In are. case you didn't realize they it, really these two are gonna fall home. in love. And my parents, they're still in danger. I must I go must back. go on. You're, you're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but... Will I see you again? You must. Excuse me, you two. Will you be staying for dinner? If so, I'd better send out several hunting parties. No, we've got to leave immediately. We have to begin our search for a phenocryst. Oh, no need. I know right where one is, but it's pretty far away. Okay, so level three is going to be what? pretty short then. I can't believe it. Does it work? Well, it might. You see, it hasn't been used in some time. Somehow, I could have guessed that. Let's go, Lena. Okay. Finally gonna get to do something. Oh, this puzzle. I remember this. Don't remember exactly what you had to do with it, but, uh... Okay. Attention, everyone. This is Torin and his friend Lena. Please, give him your attention. They're all yours. But what do I do? Well, that's the problem. No one knows. The Phenocrist hasn't been used in generations. Legend has it that when the Ostiaries find perfect harmony, the worlds will open unto them. But even when wearing these ancient sacred robes, they cannot find the way themselves. Can you help them? Oh, boy. 
Yeah, I remember this. So um, you've got to... So there are four in a line and you've got to get all of the um, different uh, categories of clothing that they're wearing all in a line. So we've got red belts, we've got blue sleeves, we've got yellow medals, is that? And then we've got purple tunics um, and then green hoods. So we've got to get them all in a line. Now, the thing I remember about this is that for the past 20 years, ever since playing this, uh, when you move these around, they crash into each other. And the things they say, I've been saying in my life for like, you know, ever since. So they, they say things like, you're in my way and move over and things like that. And just, I've been using that every day. <laughs> Not every day, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so let's get this started. So let's get the green hoods first of all. Okay, uh, you step into the center. <laughs> and you uh, take his place. Okay, so let's swap these two. Let's see, will they crash? Move over! <laughs> Move over! Just no one had any idea what I was talking about when I would make those kind of lines. You know when you have a reference that no one else gets? Okay, so I'm going to start with the... Uh, we'll get the red belt along here. Which means that these two have to change. and we've got red belts so we've now got three purple tunics in this line so if we swap these two so we've now got one two three now we've got three gold medals so if we get the four so if we swap these two and then you're we've got in my way. you're in my way and then we've got the four blue sleeves, and that's it. There we go. Hurry, Lena, jump up here. Check out that CG. Okay, another puzzle. I seem to remember this level being relatively short, so... Right, so we've got five notes going up, and we've got five notes going down. Uh, can't you make them play? Like, don't they sing? I feel I remember something about them singing. I bet that door hides a phenocryst. Okay. Those carvings must symbolize something. Yeah. What what do I do? Can I stab them? Can I stab them? No. Okay. Can I use the powder? No. Can Boogle do anything? No, I don't think he does. Isn't there like some conductor's baton or something you have to get? Um. Oh right. I think all the um all the men and women have to be in uh, the same group. Right. Uh, okay. Because I think this is a choir of some kind. No? Okay, I'm confused now. Shall we try swapping them round? Just have the, the women on the left and the men on the right. Let's just do that. Let's just have a little musical chairs. Ah, there we go. Right. Yeah, okay, so they've got to go up and they've got to go down. Oh right, I see what that is. These are the five levels of the planet 
So these are taking you up to the second level and these are taking you down to the fourth. So yeah. So we need to rearrange uh. them. Oh, and you've got to... Oh, I suck at these kind of puzzles. Right, he's on... Okay. Uh. Right, we've, so we've got to get them going from highest to lowest. Uh. That's not right. Okay. Uh. Right. This is just going to be trial and error, isn't it? Uh. Um, so I've got one, so that's one, five, two, four, three, I think. Uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, right, we have got one in the right place. What does he do? Uh, uh, okay, that's wrong. Uh, uh, now. Uh, uh, no! Oh, okay. Uh, Stop moving the high one. The high one's in the right place. Uh, uh, okay. Um, uh, so we need to move them somehow. Uh, uh, I'm just... Again, this is just trial and error. This is... Uh, 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 I had it. I think I had it, and then I lost uh, it. Oh, hang on. We've got um, one, two, three, four, five. So we've got. So it's just those two, right? Uh, yes. Conduct. Okay. Well, that's half the puzzle done. Ah, that's it. The pattern was five descending notes leading to the fourth nested planet. The other door must go back to Escarpa. Okay. Now at this point, if Torrin was a real bastard, he could just take the powder, go home, and just leave her stranded there. But no, I suppose we've got to be got to be a gentleman to the woman who, if the mu if the music wasn't an obvious thing, if the music wasn't telling you that <laughs> they've got to. Uh, they are going in in the cancelled sequels. They were going to be a couple, and they were gonna, you know, uh, get together. Uh, if it wasn't blindingly obvious by everything they said and did. Uh, so we've got to get the highest people. Oh, that's quite good. We've got um only two of them that are out. Uh, no. Uh, that's the thing. If you get it wrong, you have to wait until they actually move. Uh, there we go. That wasn't actually too bad. Okay. Uh, Every dog in the land was woken up. Oh, Torin, I knew you could do it. That was a really short you level. Did? But now what? Oh, this part I know. Stand over here. I'll throw enough of this powder for both of us, and off we'll go. Don't forget me, Torin. I couldn't, Lena. Be careful. This licentia sounds dangerous. I will. Close your eyes. They are closed. Apart from the one on our head, that giant one. Uh, it's always awkward when you've got ten very small people I watching promise. you. I'll see you soon, Lena. Somehow. Goodbye, Torin. And goodbye, Boogle. And they never saw each other again because they never made a sequel. Okay, chapter four. That was what? Twenty I minutes? I always felt you were innocent. Kurtzwell needed a scapegoat. All these years away from your home, your family, your friends, you must be so bitter. Perhaps I've learned to use the darkness to get what I want. I've heard you've become quite the powerful sorceress. Oh. But not quite powerful enough to overcome the magic of that color. Not yet. But perhaps soon. And when I do, I promise revenge. But what if you could return sooner? What? Ha! The color will not be denied. I could release it for you. 
<laughs> oh, Peckant, you know its spell can only be broken by royalty. And no matter how much you scheme, you'll never be king as long as the boy lives. Yes, but think, Lysenger, who sealed the collar? Kurtzwell, that... <sighs> Wait. Are you suggesting you could become Arch Authority? Let's just say if you'll do a small favor for me, I'll do a large favor for you. And just what would that small favor be? Nothing much, just a little magic spell. Oh, this was the level I liked the least. Yeah, you're not crashing into walls and knocking yourself unconscious. Okay, what do we have? Got a door here. With... A closed bottle. Okay, well, let's open that bottle. Ooh, smells like uh, ammonia. Ammonia? That's not good for you, Torrin. Why are you carrying that around? Is that writing? It's so dirty, I just can't tell. Okay, well, luckily there's some wet wipes here. Let's use the wet wipes. And then gas yourself with the ammonia in the process. Welcome to Asthenia. Huh. Asthenia. Okay, nothing else around here, is there? No. I refuse to go back. I must find my parents. But I want to give up. Okay. Uh... Hmm. There's a door back here, but it won't open. And there's no knob. Oh, so you're just gonna die in here and suffocate. Okay. Uh, what's on here then? Can you, can you examine it, please? Ah, see... The reason I didn't like this level as a kid is because you play an in a game of Hunt the Pixel for the entire level. Like here, look. There's nothing here, nothing on this, but just in this corner here, there you go, that's the button you're looking for. So if you don't know, you're just spending ages hunting for it. No puzzle, no cleverness. Just literally searching for the one that you need. And it's about to get a whole lot worse. Right. What have we got here? Uh, okay, that's weird. This is like some demented version of Theme Park. Stuff and nightmares, jeez. Go. Oh. What's the point of that? Now come back to that. What's your buckle just sitting there for? How do you get out of this? See, it's also just a matter of finding where on the screen you have to click in order to move the thing. Okay, I have no idea where that. What's along here? A seesaw. Okay. That must be where the people lived who defended this island. Well, they're not here anymore, so they kind of defended it well. That must be... What on the... Okay. What? So I get this contraption, which we can't do anything with. What? Okay, the only thing we can interact with is this weird thing over here. It seems to... it delivers a ball to you, which goes flying off screen. I'm guessing Torrin's meant to catch it and collect it. So maybe it stands here. 
Okay, right, something's happening. He caught it. Oof! Stone cannonballs. All right. Man, these suckers are heavy. Okay, so we've got a cannonball. Do we put the cannonball on the seesaw? Okay, it's a seesaw, so I'm guessing you've got to balance it. Except you can't put you can't put the ball on the seesaw when you're sat in the seesaw. Okay. So we put the cannonball on here and that weighs down that side. And then get in. Still too heavy. Okay. Do we have to get more cannonballs in? Okay. Um, right. I'm not going to watch the whole thing again. I'm going to click fast forward. Okay, we've got one. I'm going to get a couple. See how many we need. and weigh the same as three cannonballs or four. He's a skinny lad. We'll get another one just in case. This sort of the the circus march, the demented, distorted, pathetic circus march. Right. It's gonna be a game. Like I think, I think Torrid needs to be carrying at least one cannonball in order to for it to balance. So if we put three in here and then have him carry one, come on, balance. No, too heavy. Okay, let's try four. If it's any more than four, I'm gonna be annoyed. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Something's happening somewhere. Okay. Oh. Catapult. Okay, so we've got to uh, we've got to get to that. That spit of land over there must be the way out of here. The trouble is, you can't get there from here. What kind of voice was that? I mean, you can get there from here. You're standing next to a giant bloody catapult. All right, let's do it. Uh, got to wind it down. Don't we? Okay. Hey, Boogle, let's go. Um, we've got to cut the rope with a knife, don't we? We. Oh God, that's going to be a rough landing. Good idea, but you overshot your mark. It wasn't a rough landing. It was a dead landing. <laughs> okay. So we've got to weigh ourselves down somehow. We need some cannonballs. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, oh, he's going to crash into the ground. It's going to be a difficult to get right. Right. 
Let's try that again. You don't have the balls for this. Well, actually, I do. Hurry, Boog. Hop in. Right. Come on, is one cannonball going to be enough? Okay. And he survives unscathed. A giant. Ugh! <laughs> Pooey! Pooey. Imagine if that had landed on Torrin's head, it would have been lethal. And Torrin just laughs off the fact that his best friend got hit in the head with a stone cannonball. And this is the bit I was talking about. This is one giant maze across a huge featureless map where you're just going to be clicking little bits at a time like that because otherwise you're going to get stuck on the edges and he's got to navigate his way around all of these bits and I think there's something, I think that's where we've got to get to that must be the way out of here yep excuse me but I think there's some kind of device there that you need to fix before it will work and for that you need to find a wrench somewhere in this maze and I think it glints I think it gleams I think it's, oh there we go something here but you can't just click it because you've got to navigate Todd and all the way there so hang on so we've got to, yeah okay so we've got to get to that thing Okay, not the most exciting pet this. Luckily level 5 is pretty cool. And there's our wrench, or spanner as we would call it. So back we go. Not even any decent music, it's just literally atmospheric lava. Okay. So let's think about where we've got to go here. So we're trying to get there. Best way to solve a maze is to start at the end and work your way forwards. Work your way backwards even. So we follow that along. And we get to there. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. So we follow that and then that. And then we get to there and we take a right. And then we just follow that all the way. And the rest of it is completely pointless. Alright. Let's do this. I mean, it's not like you can fall in the lava or anything like that. It's not like if you click on the lava, it actually does anything. So, this is just really picky. And then down here. I'm so glad I remember this from uh, from playing this as a kid because otherwise this is just the most just tedious. Okay, that's the most boring bit of the game out of the way. So we've now got this thing, which we have to use the wrench on. Can't remember what this does. I think it cools down the lava. <laughs> Boogle's riding the cannon like he's Cher. that there's a water cannon just randomly in the middle of an abandoned lava world and that the water is still cool. 
It's still usable. It's been sat in there this whole time and it hasn't evaporated. Ugh, another maze. I, I can't even remember where we need to go. It's just... just dozens of unlabeled doors, no clear exit. Is that where we're meant to go? Are we meant to go down like that? Okay. This is not going to be fun. We can go that way. That takes us there. It's just, it's half maze, half auto scroller. 100% tedium. Down we go. Hang on, are we, are we back at the start? Okay. Here I was thinking that we'd got past the morning bit. What? <laughs> was that meant to be Indiana Jones? I have never seen that before. I, I swear, I have never... I do not remember that at all. That is amazing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's the most random thing. That was not in the original. That was not in the version I played. <laughs> Just a random indie showing up and then dying. <laughs> oh, that's that's made my night. That's incredible. Okay. I guess they put that in there because this bit is so boring. Uh, right. That's the thing. There's other bit. That half of the navigating takes place off screen. You're literally just going, oh, there he is, click again. There he is, click again. Down. There he is. Click again. Um, don't think there's any... Do we have to go around there? Do we go up and through there? I think it's this way. that way. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Hmm, wonder what this does. Okay. I think I remember this one. This... This is a puzzle where you have to step on every platform, and once you step on it, it begins to sink. And you have to get from this side to that side while crossing every platform. So basically, it's asking you, can you draw a single line across all of these dots? Can you connect all of the dots without crossing over any dot more than once and getting from the start to the finish? So let's think about this. So, again, start from the back. So we've got to cross this lot. See, the thing is, can you jump from that one to that one? That's the question that I'm not sure about. It may be that you have to go one, two, three, and then round like that, and then down. Because this bit's easy. You start at one, you go like that. 
and then you go up and round and I think you do that and then up like that okay ah but you can only start in the middle okay that complicates things slightly I think you go okay so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, right, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we're going to have to do it that way. So 17, and then all the way around like that. <sighs> okay. This is going to be on a time limit. I don't like time limits. Here we go. 1. Two, three, four, five. There goes the first platform. Six, seven, eight, nine. My heart doesn't like this. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is the part I'm not 100% on. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21. Now, can we make this jump to the one behind? Yes, and he backflips. Oh, you're showing off now, Torin. Come on. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And we made it. Right. And through we go. It's the crystal music. Okay, so we've got crystals here. Oh, it's a, a laser puzzle. So I've got to get from that that laser through there, and I'm guessing it's got to bounce through all the crystals. Okay, so that's going to start on the diagonal, and then that one's got to come like that, and we switch that to the left maybe. Okay, and then we do that. And then swap these two, and this should do it. See, I mean, I'm, I'm. Part of me is going, yes, well done, you did that. But part of me is also thinking, this is a children's game. You know, you managed to do these puzzles when you were seven years old. So the fact that you can do them when you're thirty is not that much of a surprise. Anyway, this is going to be the end of part four. We've only been going for 45 minutes, and this is uh, this is us entering the final chapter of the game. Level 5, here we go.